Welcome back everybody. Today we have a really important video that I think is a little bit of an understated area that needs more focus and that is how to actually interview the PI that you're going to want to work for. And just like any job out there on the market, an interview process is a two-way thing, all right? You're trying to find a good match. So obviously they're interviewing you to come join the lab, but you need to interview them and make sure that, you know, they're a good fit for what you want in your career development. I think that when I talk to people that really didn't have a good time in their postdoc, there's a few threads that I've noticed. And I think that some of these questions would address that. Some of these are things that I personally asked when I interviewed for a postdoc position. And some of them are ones I wish I did and I never even thought of these. So I'm hoping that if you could think of some of these and incorporate them into your interview process when you're trying to find a postdoc position, maybe it'll help you to find a better fit. So with that, let's dive into these. I have five different questions that I think are really important for you to answer. So stick around and watch all of them. If you like the content, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's keep growing this channel. I'm really excited. I know that we have some good videos planned in the future. So let's dive in. The first thing you're going to want to know is about the projects. Now I'm going under the assumption that if you're applying to somebody's particular lab, you have an idea of what that person's actually studying. So they may study liver metabolism and within liver metabolism there may be genetics that they study there may be a physiology component you know there's different areas but they study within liver physiology it's important for you to understand what are the potential projects that they're working on so i think one thing that you may want to ask is what are the types of projects that you think i would be working on you could also get some of this if you go on to um, grant finders like so for example on nih you could pull up people's currently funded projects. That may give some insight, but the best way is to directly ask them, hey, what kind of projects do you want me to work on? And follow-up questions to that are things like, how long has this project been ongoing? How many postdocs or grad students have worked on this project? Because one thing is that people, they miss this, is that a PI may have a project that they really like, and this happened to me. There was a project that my PI really liked and I ended up working on it and kind of inheriting it when I came to the lab. But this was a project that had been going on for like 10 years and there was multiple uh, postdocs that had worked on it and it just, it kind of was all over the place. And, you know, it ended up coming together as a good story in the end, but there was a lot of this like back and forth, if you will. So understanding who has worked on this project for how long with what kind of success this is an important thing to know. And it also is gonna let you kind of gauge like, is this something I really wanna be spending the next three, four, five years doing, okay? Because if they're telling you you're gonna be working on A, B, and C, and you really don't like any of those, it's probably not gonna be a good fit. At the same time, you could also get a feel for how many of these projects are ones that are already established in the lab versus how much flexibility are you gonna have to start trying to work on things that you wanna work on. And this is gonna be a constant give and take with your PI and everyone's gonna have a different way that they wanna do this with their postdocs. But it's important to know if you wanna be able to design some of your own projects, how much flexibility you have in there. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to know about is funding. And funding goes two ways. One, what is their current funding situation? And two, what are their expectations of you? Okay, so the first one is obviously how well-funded are you? Do you have a spot for me on your R01? If you do, how long is that going to last for? And how long can you guarantee funding for me? Okay, so if the lab is going to come out and say, well, yeah, we could put you on our R01 and we could fund you, but it's only for about a year, maybe a year and a half. And then from there, we don't have guaranteed funding. Okay, that is a lab you want to stay away from. That means you do not have a secure future and you're going to go there and there's a, you know, a coin flip basically of whether or not after a year you're going to have a position left and they can even pay you. That's, you know, really not good. The other, you know, side of this coin is you need to know what their expectation is of you, okay? Do they expect that you're going to be getting your own funding? If they do expect it, what happens if you don't get your own funding? Are they going to be able to support you? Are they going to tell you that they want you to find funding within a year or two? And if you don't, they're going to ask you to leave. What are their actual expectations for you? And on top of expectations for funding, the third question, you know, kind of builds on this is in general, what are your expectations for your postdocs? Okay. Is it that three years and I want a paper? 
Is it that I expect them to pay, publish in nature or sell science? Is it that I expect them to be in the lab for 40 hours a week, 60 hours, 80 hours? Is it that I expect you to go to at least one conference a year? You know, what are your expectations of your postdocs? That's a really important thing to know because that's going to really give you the most insight into what life is like um, working in that lab. The next thing that you really need to be able to ask is about what has happened with past lab members. So say that you want to be a PI, that is your end goal. You want to finish grad school and now you're gonna join this lab to be a postdoc and then later you wanna go on and start your own lab. It is totally fair and a reasonable question to say, my goal is to eventually be a PI. Can you talk to me about any past lab members from your lab that did their postdoc with you that are now a faculty member or where are the current or where are the past uh, postdocs from your lab what are they doing now okay and that's fair to know you know if you want to be a pi you want to be going to a lab where the pi could turn around and say yeah you know i had at least one person that came in they had a successful time in my lab and now they've established their own lab you know that's good that shows that there's a track record there of you know postdocs coming in and being successful to publish and secure funding and then go on and start their own lab. You don't want to go into a lab where, you know, they can't tell you much about what their formal, former postdocs have been doing. They're kind of in these shoddy positions. They're not in a good position. That's not really going to help you. And you want to make sure that you get yourself into a much better position. So really dig in there and find out what have those past postdocs been doing. And this is the key one. This is the fifth point, and I think the, actually the most important. So for those of you that stuck around to the end, you're gonna get the best one. Ask if you could get contact information to any of their current postdocs. This is something that I actually kind of lucked into with one of the labs that I interviewed at, and I'm really glad that I did because it completely swayed my decision and where to go. Ask if you could do this. If they say no, that is a really bad sign. That means either A, they're really not interested in you, or B, they're trying to cover up something about their own lab. They should be open and honest and feel comfortable with the people that work for them opening up to you about what it's like to work there, okay? So the lab I ended up going to, I actually asked, you know, can I have so-and-so's contact information? I interviewed with them and I really got along. Before I make any kind of decision, I want to be able to talk to them. And I ended up sending some text messages back and forth with them and found out a lot about working with this PI and ended up falling in love with the lab even more. And it really just kind of sealed the deal for me. I was on the fence about going to her lab or another lab and, you know, this kind of hearing just how wonderful it was and what the environment was like, I just, it just made me fall in love and made me want to go to her lab. And so I ended up, you know, wanting to go to her lab. And when she gave an offer, I was like, yes, I would gladly um, come over to your lab. So I think this is a really important point. Make sure to get contact information for their current postdocs. So with that, I think we're gonna wrap it up. If you have any questions related to this, you know, don't forget to leave them in the comments. If there's any other videos you wanna see, leave them in the comments. I've been pretty good at trying to incorporate questions that viewers have into videos of their own, especially when they could be a standalone video or like compiled into one because they kind of fit together. I really like doing that. I think it's interactive. I think it's gonna give you guys the, the best way to learn um, is by answering your questions because whatever questions you have, likely other people have the same question. So with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.